Ninja must be totally committed to his clan and let go of all external allegiances. What is up? I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today is an awesome, awesome day, as any PC builder knows. When you finally get all your parts in that you need to start on your build, and it's just like anticipation and anxiousness and tiny bit of nervousness, but just mostly awesomeness. So I'm gonna be going over all the parts for my build. I call the build Project Arashikage. It is going to be a all white, and I mean all white silent, deadly silent ninja build. Really, really excited, so let's talk about it. What I'm gonna call the heart and soul of this is the Asus Sabertooth Z97 Mark S. Yeah, I did a video on this already. Definitely be sure to go check that out. It's a sexy looking motherboard. It's white with camo. The PCB is white. That's kind of the thing that initiated me wanting to do an all white build. The fact that they came out with an all white version of this board. Sabertooths are very well known for having nice power delivery and I definitely want to do some overclocking with this system. So hopefully this board will help out in that regard. So next up is the CPU. That is the Intel Core i7 4790K. This is the four core processor. That's eight threads with uh, their hyper threading technology. It uses the LG 1150 chipset or socket rather. And it has eight megabytes of cache, I believe, but pretty, pretty awesome CPU. This is actually gonna be the first Intel CPU I'm putting in a build and probably about the last four builds, maybe like the last five years I've been using FX 8350s and some of the APUs and some of the older Athlon chips from AMD. AMD kind of has more of the cost to performance ratio where uh, the individual cores in Intel chips tend to have better, you know, raw core performance. So definitely want to try this out. Maybe I can do some comparisons with the 8350. It might not align all that much because it's a you know slightly older platform that AMD has over there. Really wish they would come out with a new enthusiast platform. But underneath that, we have uh, my first SSD. I decided to just go with one at first, and it is a 240 gigabyte uh, 730 from Intel. I haven't actually used one of these before, and I've heard a lot of good things about them. Intel makes pretty much everything that goes into their SSDs, I believe, the controller and the NAND and all that kind of stuff. Of course, SSDs aren't the most crucial things in terms of gaming. It really helps with your OS and your applications loaded up, but once the game is loaded up and you're in game, it's not gonna offer you very much performance. But I just wanted to try it out, to do some benchmarks, compare it with some of the other SSDs that I've used to see what difference it makes. So really excited to be using this. Now to augment that initial storage of the SSD, I also picked up a Western Digital one terabyte blue that's 7200 rpms and this is going to be ho to hold more of my um bulk type uh stuff you know capture stuff from games and gameplay that i record and also maybe some um extra games from steam and all that kind of stuff next up we actually have the cpu cooler which is from intermax it is the ets t40 white cluster it's probably the most popular and really only white CPU cooler that I could find on the market right now. And as I mentioned, I want this to be an all white build, even if that means part uh, painting certain parts, but if I can avoid painting parts, I look to get those. So we're gonna go with that. I've heard pretty good things about its performance in terms of A, its ability to cool uh, CPUs like the 4790K, and then also its ability to do so without making too much noise. So. For now, we're going with air. I eventually want to water cool all the things and I will share that with you guys, my whole experience with that. So moving on, we also have the Avexor Core Series Sabronco colored uh, RAM. I'm, I've done a video on that as well. This is just awesome. I love what they, uh, what they do with making heat spreader uh, color schemes that match 
different popular motherboards out there, especially more enthusiast kind of motherboards like this, this Bronco Mark S. And they also have the bonus of being um, LED lit out of the box. So you don't have to do any weird mods or anything like that or get any aftermarket stuff, which is just really cool. I've never used uh, a Vexor stuff before, so we're gonna try it out and hopefully it works out pretty well. And I will let you guys know what the results of that are. So next up we have the PSU, which is the Fracta Design Newton R3 1000 watt power supply. And of course we got that in white. I've already done an unboxing and overview of the 800 watt version of this power supply. So far the 800 watt power supply hasn't disappointed me. You can definitely go check out some power supply reviews from guys like Johnny Guru and they get really, really in depth. Um, I believe that both this one and the 800 watt power supply from Fractal Design scored really, really well on that, but I'm super psyched that it's white so I don't have to go in there and paint it or do too much modding in order to get it um, into that all white system that I want. It does have uh, modular, semi-modular capabilities. It has, I think, about three or four cables that are non-modular and unfortunately those don't come with white cables so i bought some sleeving in order to go in and hopefully replace that so that'll be a mod that you guys can look forward to and i will be documenting that but it is 80 plus uh platinum which is super super efficient um has semi passive cooling which means the fan doesn't turn on until it gets to a certain load it's overkill for especially for the parts you see here i do plan on adding a second GPU and I'm going to be water cooling this, which is going to be a lot of fans and a, uh, a water cooling pump and some other things like that. So hopping all the way over here, we see the EVGA GeForce GTX 980 that is going to be pushing the pixels, at least to begin with. I do plan on getting two cards in here eventually, so that'll probably be two GTX 980s, but I, as I mentioned before, I want to water cool these, so I might move to reference cards later down the road, but for the time being, we're going to have this one card in probably a second. This is the For the Win edition from EVGA. Unfortunately, it does not come with a backplate out of the box, so I have picked up one of those as well. I'm going to be doing a video on how to install a backplate if you have a GPU that doesn't have one or you want to replace it or um, just anything like that. So. Really excited about that. This is the first time I've had kind of the top tier um, GPU from any company, AMD or uh, NVIDIA. All right, and bringing up the rear, so to speak, literally in this case, kind of holding everything up is the case. We have the Fractal Design Define R5 Silence Redefined. I have the white windowed version of this. I've actually already done an unboxing and review of that. So check that video out in the description below. But yeah, this is definitely probably the best case I could choose for this type of build. As I mentioned, I want this to be a silent ninja all white themed build and pow, that case is kind of perfect for it. So yeah, that is the entire parts list. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Uh, am I stupid? Did I pick the wrong parts? What would you have done? Um, you know, link people to your PC part pickers and start some discussion over whether or not this you think this is kind of the best silent build um, that you can get right now. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. And let me know whether you want to see more stuff like this in the future. Um, great time to subscribe. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, got a lot of cool stuff already out there that you guys can check out. I do builds, tutorials, a whole bunch of stuff, a little bit of gameplay. So subscribe if you already haven't. Follow me on your favorite social networking site. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I keep saying I'm going to join Snapchat, but I don't know. It's a little, a little weird with its, um, you know, just kind of where it came from. But if you do follow me, you can get more frequent updates on all my upcoming videos, ongoing projects, some behind the scenes kind of stuff that I like to post a lot. So definitely do that. I've got my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you guys use that, it uh, costs you nothing if you bookmark it and use it to buy computer parts or whatever you want to buy on Amazon, Mike and Ike's maybe. Um, then it gives me a small commission. It costs you guys absolutely nothing and it helps fund builds like this in videos and tutorials and equipment. So it helps the channel out a lot. I really appreciate it if you can do that. That is it for this video. Stay tuned for more on Project Arashikage and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.